Yo, what's up guys, and this is Offensive Seahawks fan back with another video, and today, not GTA, we're going to be switching it up, and we're going to be doing a mock draft, because Monday is the combine, so Saturday, today, will be full team first round mock draft, Then Sunday, if I can, I will try to make um, a Seahawks full mock draft. Um, we'll, we'll just see how it goes. We're going to start with the Bears. Um, I think it's, it's going to be, sadly, Caleb Williams. It's been rumored for so long, and I think it's going to finally happen. I really don't like Caleb Williams at all. I really don't. But... I think Fields is going to get traded to either the Steelers or the Falcons. And the Bears are going to get Caleb Williams. Now for pick two, the Washington Commanders. I have them taking Drake May. Um, I think they're already giving up on um, Howell. I, I think that second half of the season was like, Enough to be like, oh, we're done with you. Uh, Drake May, you're in. Which I don't really understand, but whatever. Now the Patriots. This was close between Harrison and Daniels. But I, I'm giving the edge to Jaden Daniels. I think the Patriots are going to draft him. Uh, I think they're, they're done with Mac Jones. I'd imagine they would be done with Mac Jones. And then now for the Cardinals at four, the first wide receiver off the board, it's going to be Marvin Harrison Jr., one of the best prospects we'll probably ever see. Um, now for the Chargers, this was kind of tough because they need, like, O-line. But I'm going to give them Brock Bowers. I, I, I just think he f would fit with the Chargers very well. Um, but we'll see. And then for the Giants, I don't have them taking a the quarterback. I have them taking Malik Neighbors from LSU. They just need to get whoever their quarterback next year is a true number one guy. Like, and Daniel Jones or DeVito or whoever the hell it's going to be, they don't. They probably won't have much to work with if they don't draft a receiver. Saquon's probably gone. Darren Waller's not that good anymore. I'm trying not to burp. Um, uh, who else? Oh, um, I mean, I, their receivers really aren't that good. I mean, Wondell Robinson. Eh, I'm not. I'm not sure really. All right, for the Titans, I think. They're going to double down on tackles. They got Skaronski last year, and I think they're going to get Joe Alt this year. Um, I, I could have picked a Doomsday, but I feel like they're going to get T. Higgins. So, even though the Bengals uh, tagged him yesterday. So, oh, we'll see. For the Falcons, um, I honestly don't know. I haven't really done any research. So. I don't think they're going to draft a receiver. I think they're fine in the weapons department. I think they might they might go with um now let's go with Olu Fashanu. I feel like that'd be good for the Falcons. All right, now the Bears, they got the ninth pick. The first pick was from the Panthers, but the ninth pick is their actual pick. And I think they go Roma Dunze from Washington. That would be a nice addition and a nice um, option, too, for Williams alongside DJ Moore because um, Darnell Moon is really not that good. Cole Komet is good, but um, they just they need other help besides a tight end and one receiver. Like, outside of DJ Moore, they really have nothing. Mooney's not that good. 
All right, for the Jets, they really need O line more than anything. So we'll we'll say uh, Talisi Fuega from Oregon State. Just build that D line or not D line O line up so Aaron Rodgers can actually you know play. For the Vikings, I think Daniel Hunter is going to be gone, so I think they're going to need like a good edge rushing guy, so maybe like a Dallas Turner or a Jared Verse, but I think I think Dallas Turner is better, so I'm going to go with him for the Vikings. And for the Broncos, this is so tough because are they going to have Russell Wilson next year? Are they going to? I I don't know. But they need more than a quarterback. They need, like, corner help. I guess they need receiver help. Um, none of these receivers are worth taking right now. Um, I mean, let's just see what quarterbacks. I don't get why people are like, oh, McCarthy's a first-round quarterback. No, he's not. To some team, he might be, but I, I don't, I really don't see it. I think they're going to take Terrion Arnold, though. I feel like that'd be a good pick for him. Now the Raiders, they could go with the quarterback. It just really depends on what they want to do with their quarterback in the in free agency. Jimmy G's definitely gone. Aiden O'Connell's not really good. Um, if they were going to draft a quarterback, I feel like it's going to be McCarthy or Bo Nix. I don't think they're going to take Penix. I don't think he really fits the Raiders, what they want to do. Drink your water, kids. If, if anyone's taking McCarthy in the first round, it's either going to be the Raiders or most likely the Seahawks, which I really hope not. I don't want McCarthy at all. Um... I'm not gonna take. I'm not gonna take him though. For the Raiders, I'm gonna take Cooper DeJean from Iowa. You know, white corner starting. <laughs> Why not? Now for the Saints, I think this is where Verse goes off the board. He's just been sitting here rotten. And um, yeah, now the Colts corner or edge is it's gonna be. A big, um, big maybe. Big, big maybe. Um, I don't really know any edge rushers or corners they have, but I have heard that Leatu Latu is a pretty good edge rusher, and the Colts need an edge rusher, so we'll do that. Now for the Seahawks. We could go so many places. We can go with our fran or next franchise quarterback to sit behind Geno for a little bit. We can get someone like Jerzon Newton or Byron Murphy. Um, I have been seeing get like a Jackson Powers Johnson to center or get Troy Fatanu to tackle but move into like a guard or something. The, the thing I'm most like... Yes, please do. Is gonna be Jerzon Newton. Uh, we need D line bad, and Newton is a was a really good um, D tackle or whatever position he plays. That's just what I hear from people. Now the Jags, they could honestly use corner help. Um, Ken Kenyon Mitchell or Nate Wiggins. Honestly, maybe Kool Aid McKinstry, but I think I'm gonna pick him for the Rams. That's just where I see him going in real life. I think I'm gonna go with um, some Nate Wiggins for the Jags. Now the Bengals, they really just need protection. <laughs> Excuse me for Joe Burrow. Like it's so sad. Just every year. Their O-line looks like it's getting better on paper, but it's not getting better on the field or anything. Just keep building that freaking line. It's like a J.C. Latham, Alabama, or a Mims or something like that. 
I think we'll take Latham. Now the Rams, I already said this. Kool-Aid McKinstry. He just just seems like a Ram. I don't know why. Steelers, I'm very sure about this. They're gonna get Jackson Powers Johnson. They are, they just release their uh, corner, not corner, center, uh, Mason Cole or something like that. They release them, and they're just waiting for Powers to follow them. All right, now the Dolphins. This one is a good fit. They're releasing Xavier Howard to save some cap money, um, and he's also getting old. So I, I think Kingon Mitchell would be the pick for them. Now the Eagles, god damn, they need a lot. They, they need a lot right now. Um, uh, they're not going to take Byron Murphy. They don't need a D-line. I mean, um, there's some good tackle options. Like there's one, two, three. There's three tackle options. Um... I'm not going to give him a receiver. Uh, A.J. Brown's not leaving, and Devontae Smith probably isn't going to leave. Um, I was his name? Lane Johnson might leave soon. He's getting old. So one, one of these um, tackles could go to the Eagles, and I think it could be Mims. So we'll do that. Now the Texans. Ma imagine being the Texans and getting Will Anderson and Byron Murphy in back-to-back -back drafts in the first round. Good luck, honestly. I think that's going to be the move. Oh. Yeah. All right, now Dallas. They need a, a badly need a tackle. Um, Tyron Smith barely plays. Um, he's also old as dirt. I don't even know who the right tackle is. Terrence Steele or something. I have no idea about him. I think um, Fatanu or Guyton. I think I'll go with one of them. Fatanu is always good when I pick him in some franchises. So we'll do that for Madden Bias. Why not? Now the Packers. Will this be the year they draft a, a receiver in the first round? Probably not. Let's be real. No shot they do. Because it's the Packers. So they're going to draft oh, just something weird, I feel like. I think they might get rid of Bakhtiari soon. If not, if it's not, uh, now it's going to be soon. So. Maybe Tyler Guyton, maybe I mean, they do their top need is looks like it's a corner. Um I'll give him Guyton, why not? Now oh, Buccaneers. Mike Evans is leaving. I th I think Mike Evans is leaving. So one of these receivers, Brian Thomas or Keon Coleman. I hear good stuff about Keon Coleman. Um like I always say, I don't watch college football, so I'm not good at doing things. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, I think we'll go Brian Thomas. So. And then now for the Cardinals. I think this pick for them is from the Texans. What could they go with? They could. They could use an edge rusher. They can use a corner. They can really use a D lineman. Their D line is horrible. Um, maybe Tavondre Sweat. Maybe uh, Robinson Demi Ion. I'm horrible with names. Just just beef up this D line. Come on, All right, Bills. They need a receiver so bad. Gabe Davis sucks. He's not good. Um, Stefan Diggs needs to pull the tampon out soon. Like, come on, dude. Uh, Khalil Shakir, he's actually pretty good. I don't know how I'd feel about him being a receiver, too. Though. So, I think Keon Coleman is going to be for the Bills. Now the Lions, get someone in your secondary. Like, come on, your secondary is 
piss poor bad. Just like I said about the Bengals O-line, it looked like you guys improved your secondary. Brian Branch was a great rookie, but really outside of that, your secondary was cheap, especially in the playoffs. Get like, you know, Rakashaw Jr. or, um, get, get someone, someone. And then for the Ravens, it's really between Troy Franklin and uh, Braylon Trice. I know it says it's not suggestion or suggested, but the Ravens are going to lose so much of their defense and free agency, I feel like. But I'm, I'm on the edge of saying, get, get Troy Franklin. Get a receiver. I know you guys got Zay Flowers. He's not in any legal trouble. I think that case was dropped. You just... We sign Nelson Aguilar. No. He's not that good. And Odell is like 30-something years old. Double down on receivers in the first round past two years. I think you guys will be good. And Troy Franklin. Yes, sir. Now for the Niners. You guys need some O-line. Like, outside of Trent Williams, I have no idea if your O-line is good. Get Graham Barton or a Jordan Morgan. Probably. I don't think Trent's going to retire for, like, I'd, I say he has two more years in him. So maybe get uh, Barton. I think he might be a center, too. So we'll do that. And then the Chiefs. I don't care if it's a reach. Get a damn wide receiver. Like, seriously. A, a Donnie Mitchell. All right. Um, can I look at the whole thing? I can't. Okay, well, actually, we'll just save this real quick. Alright, we'll do a <clears throat> draft recap. So, with no, like, really, with really no, like, um, film watching, with no studying or anything, Caleb Williams at one, May at two. Daniels at 3, Harrison at 4, Bowers at 5, Neighbors at 6, Go Away Ad, Alt at 7, Fashanu at 8, Adunze at 9, Fuega 10, Turner 11, Arnold 12, 13 DeGene, 14 Verse, 15 Latou, 16 Newton, please Seahawks make it happen, 17 Wiggins, 18 Latham, 19 McKinstry, 20 Powers Johnson, 21 Mitchell, 22 Mims, 23 Murphy, 24 Fatanu, 25 Guyton, 26 Thomas, 27 Robinson, 28 Coleman, 29 Rack or Rake Straw. I think I said Rack of Straw for the first time. 30 Franklin, 31 Barton, and 32 Mitchell. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe, and turn the notification bell on so you'll never miss an upload. I will see you in the next video. Go Hawks!